This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Amazon announced it expected to close its purchase of Whole Foods on August 28th. When the deal is complete, Amazon plans to immediately slash prices on high-ticket items like organic fruits and responsibly farmed salmon. Whole Foods' loyalty plan will be replaced with Amazon Prime at some point in the future, and private label products will be made available on Amazon.com. Shares of several major grocers sank after Amazon's announcement. A French site believes it knows the next iPhone launch date. Mac Forever reported Apple could reveal the newest iteration of the iPhone at a September 12th event, with a September 22nd sale date. Previous Apple iPhone events have happened in early to mid-September, so it is a solid guess, but reports claiming the next iPhone could be delayed into October or November means we'll have to learn the answer when we always do, the day Apple sends out its event invite. Microsoft hinted at the possibility of cross-play between its Xbox One and Sony's PlayStation 4. At the Gamescom video game conference in Germany, Microsoft's head of marketing for Xbox revealed the company was talking to Sony in the hopes of opening up cross-console play between systems. Some game developers have pointed to Sony as the reason cross-play hasn't happened yet. Neither company immediately responded to requests for comment. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app in the Apple or Google Play stores.